And now, we'd like to feature... The Red Hot Underdogs. I am Anzac, and with me tonight, I have the ever-incredible, the often long-contained, always imitated, but never duplicated, Drewy and Rich. Yay! Yeah. How was that? All well, right. How, how yeah, that'll get, him, uh, well, that'll, well, get him, that'll get him. That'll get him subscribing. Yep. Yep. What did you get up to today? I was just um, researching my story for the Red Hot Underdogs. That's yes. That's about it. And, and what, what was your story? Yeah, what's the story, mate? Tell us the story, Morning Glory. Uh, Shooting Australia are. Uh, just finishing up the pistol quota for the Olympic Games team in Paris next year. The uh, okay. Australian pistol team has been selected, but they haven't done the uh, got the quota yet of people to shoot for Australia in the uh, rifle and clay clay pigeon. Uh, shooting teams ah, okay. yeah, air rifle team yeah still to be contested oh yep yeah right. good okay. yeah, that, that gives rise in this uh, sporting lull that we're in to uh, <laughs> shooting conversation at the very so least bring your M16s and your bullets giddy up yep yeah. time and, to uh, hit the target yeah I wouldn't be very good. I'm not good at hitting the target in more ways than one. So but you just got to bring your best game, best shooting game. Yep. What do you like with guns, Joel? Uh, remember we went shooting in Manly Vale? Yeah, not very good at them. Yeah. I've no, got a gel not... blaster on the wall, a couple of them. Shoot the oh, mag. Yeah, nice. And then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just to keep them away from the cat food. Pow, 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 pow. Excellent. Hey, Rich. Well, what's for dinner, Rich? Yeah, what <laughs> What are you wearing? What's that? Is that the, the Mighty Raiders? Um, I don't know. I don't know what this Raiders is you're talking about. It's just this beautiful hat I found at the uh, op shop. And okay. it says, you're right, it says Canberra Raiders member whatever that is and yeah um the, what you do you mean found that at the op shop in in newtown uh it was in in canberra actually yeah that's um, that makes sense <laughs> yeah i was just pretending that i didn't know what the canberra raiders was a bit of an in joke because um julian knows that i do like the canberra raiders a lot but our audience wouldn't know that, so we might edit that one out. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, it was quite good. It was good stuff. No, no. I'm sure there are plenty of Raiders supporters. They'd be glad to know there's someone else on their side. Yeah, They're but they lying. wouldn't know that I'm an ardent Raiders fan who was pretending that he bought the hat just because he liked the colour as opposed to what it might represent. What well, was a good um, colour? It was a good colour. Oh, it's yeah. great, like, horridness, um, if um, you're into horridness. But they, they didn't have any other colours available in 1982 when the Raiders got their colour. No, it's, um, it's changed a bit, hasn't it? The Raiders was a bit more Hulk green than now it's a bit more less fluorary, right? It's more lime it's, green now. It's more lime green now, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was always pretty lime. Yeah, yeah, it was always pretty lime green. I, I think every competition around the world, every sport needs a side with a green jersey because there yeah. are too many ones with white, red and blue and black. It gets a bit boring. Which got That's me right. thinking, who else is green? And I know who's green in the in the shitty A-League and, and they're the new team in... Um, in Melbourne, there's like a Western, Western, Western United. Melbourne or whatever. It is. Western, Western United. United. Yep. But they're, yeah, yeah. they're green and black, 
Raiders are green and white. Yes. Well, and funnily enough, in the AFL, the Tasmania side that's going to come in in a few years is going to be green. Oh. Ah. So that's good. You'll finally have a green AFL side. Yeah. Yeah. You need green. It's very underutilised in the world of sport. Mm. There aren't too many soccer teams with green, you know? Yeah. Never think of who else is green besides um, Canberra, really. Yeah, but, you know, it is what it is. And in the basketball, the NBA, you've got the Celtics. They're green. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. No, so. And NFL, you've got the Green Bay Packers. They're green. Ah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Seattle Seahawks. Right. Yes. Another shade, shade of green, a bit closer to the Raiders. Yes. They went to council worker green. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, my um, shooting focus was going to be uh, uh, ranking the mass murderers uh, in terms of which ones had the most merit. And Jesus. Right on top of the shooting prowess is Anders Breivik, who's topical enough. He's getting out of prison this year after 20 years of rehabilitation in a Norwegian prison. Oh, yep. Okay. 20 years is the maximum in Norway because they strongly believe in rehabilitation. Yeah, well, the, those um, yeah, those Norwegian prisons and the Icelandic prisons, I've, I've read stuff that they're like fucking hotels, you know? Yeah. You can go rock they climbing. You can, you can, they don't have bars on the window. You can make yourself coffee. You can just walk around and yeah, they're not like like prisons everywhere else. Um, yeah, they, they seem to work because the uh, number of people who end up going back to prison is very low compared yeah. to ours, where they seem to revolving door. Yeah, uh, most of the folks. Mm. But anyway, Anders Breivik, he's number one on. Um, I think it's between 70 and 80 people killed. Yeah. All of them young socialists, which gets him some extra points. Yeah. And yeah. then the next five guys, they all top themselves. So they lose points for that. And then coming in sixth at around... Wait, wait, hang on. Like, just a few more details. Did they kill themselves directly after their mass murder? Yes. Okay. So I'm not a fan of that. I think you've got to be accountable for your actions. And the next yeah. one in the list who did not top himself is our very own Martin Bryant. Yeah. So for me, he gets uh, the silver medal. He tried to kill himself in jail. Oh, did he? Yeah. I think he used his shoelaces or something. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Well, at least in the immediate aftermath, he was reasonably um, – proud of himself so he gets the silver medal there and then going down the list further i can't go past uh oscar pistorius oh yep good old good old um what is he um what they on call valentine's him? day the blade runner blade runner something legs yeah yep yep it, it was valentine's day was it it was valentine's day but he oh, didn't. He only killed his missus, right? Yeah, yeah. But still, but yeah, he, we you know the backstory yeah. there. Um, yeah, I got a feeling he just said, "Look, I don't want you pooing in my toilet." Yeah. If you want to do a poo, you got to go down to that other toilet down the. How hallway many toilets there. was in his house? I mean, well, heaps. Most men shoot their misses in the face in a different kind of way on Valentine's Day. <laughs> this was uh, not very legal. Yeah. This is a very distasteful conversation. Yeah, I like yeah, it, though. <laughs> yeah, so, so um, 
Yeah. He, What's happening to him? Happen. Like, imagine being, is he allowed to have his, um, his legs in jail? No, this is rough. <laughs> no, he, he's got prosthetic legs, but I don't think he's got those running ones. In jail? It's just, it's just, it's just got stumps. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Stumps, yeah. yeah. It's the slow stumps. He doesn't want to run away from the guards. <laughs> he does the caterpillar to get to the prison yard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They all think he's dancing and huddle around him in a circle. Woo! The caterpillar. No, mate, it's just how I get around. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. What, what makes him like a caterpillar again? Well, yeah. yeah. Like 99 stomp, 99 stomp. What's, what goes 99 stomp, 99 stomp? Right. Caterpillar with a broken leg or, or a, 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 a false leg. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, caterpillar with a broken leg. A wooden leg, yeah. A wooden leg. Wooden leg. Caterpillar with a wooden leg. Yeah. You know, that joke? Yeah, it's not a bad one, Julian. I'll I make know. a note of that. Oh, and then, uh, then leading into that, I was going to regale our listeners with my ideas about the brewery that my mate's got down the road. He's getting a brewery going, but he doesn't have a name for his brewery and he doesn't have a uh, name for any of the beers that he's got going. What's his name? <laughs> that was, that was, his name is... Uh, his what, name is huh? His, name, his name's Jed. He's a Lebanese guy. He's a nice guy. All right, well, it's easy. Just call his drink Jed's Piss. Simple. Yeah, that'll get him. Uh, it's Jed's pretty competitive. Piss. He's up in Dulwich Hill, and uh, there's there are quite a few of those micro breweries up there. So yeah. he said he wants something a bit catchier. And okay. I, I like the idea of uh, murder a beer. Oh, oh yeah. gee. No, I murder don't. Murder a beer. No, I like yeah. it. No, yeah. that's not going to get the punters. Yeah. A bit distasteful. I like it. And uh, it goes with my... going to buy Murder a Beer. Murder a Beer. And each beer that he's um, got on tap there will be named after a, an Australian murderer. Right. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm not in train. I'll catch you later. I like cutting edge and controversial, but sheesh. There's, the, there's the Ivan Millard dark. There's the Martin Bryant blonde. Oh yep, yep, yep. Anders Breivik pale ale. Oh yep, yep. And the, uh, there's he's got a red. Red wine, not Bondi. a red beer. Red wine or red it's beer? A, it's a red beer. It's just yeah. called a red, a red oh, for some reason. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And that uh, Diane Folbig red. Yeah. She was a ranger before she went all grey in prison for murdering her uh, four kids, but then she got acquitted. Jesus. So that's a bit of a bummer because now I'm looking for another red-headed murderer. Do you yeah. guys know any red-headed murderers? No. Um I'll catch you. I reckon they're the it they're the the least murderers, the, the redheads. Don't they get angry faster 